what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Morning and you're all having a wonderful day. I'm headed to the gym. I'm gonna go work out and then I'm gonna go home. We are gonna do a very small amount of schoolwork because um, Mika has the orthodontist at one and they said for us to be 30 minutes early. So we need to be at 1230, which means I need to leave my house by noon. So we are gonna get in whatever we can for schoolwork today and then head to the orthodontist and she's gonna get her bottom braces put in and then um, we're gonna come back home. After the orthodontist, I need to pick up a Walmart order. It's just a few things and it was only like $15, but it is tahini, some pita bread, lemons, roasted red peppers, that might've been it. It was just a few things that they needed because we're doing a study of Israel right now and one of the things that we are gonna do is make food from the area. And so today, after we get back from the orthodontist, we are gonna do hummus and pita bread. I am using store-bought pita bread to eat with the hummus, but next week they are gonna make their own pita bread from scratch when we have a day where we have time to do so. So they'll be making that and We'll figure out what we're going to eat with it that day, but today is going to be hummus with uh, pita breads just because we have been learning so much about the people, the religion, the culture, the geography, the food, and the part of our fun schooling book that we're on right now says to make a recipe from Israel and then also to draw and to write the steps down for how to make it and then draw your finished product and tell how you liked it, disliked it, etc. So they're going to be doing that for the hummus and then we're going to move through a few different recipes while we work on this unit but we're going to start with something pretty basic and something that they all actually normally like when I buy it pre-made from Aldi and we're going to do hummus. I don't know that I've ever bought pita bread. They usually eat chips and crackers and things with hummus, vegetables, but we're going to try the pita bread. They all thought it looked delicious in all the videos that we watch of the people that were like eating the street food and eating at the restaurants and stuff there. So that is going to be our day to day. We are going to do gym, school, dentist, or orthodontist, um, Walmart, hummus, dinner. For dinner tonight, I'm actually making Chinese food. I'm doing um, tempura sweet potatoes, tempura chicken, egg drop soup, maybe some wontons or something, or pot stickers. I'm not sure. I have to look and see what we have in the freezer. And I don't know if there's going to be anything else or not. I mean, I think I had something else on my mind 
when I wrote down that we were going to eat Chinese food tonight, but I don't know what it was. I know we don't have any egg rolls, so unless James wants to pick up egg rolls, I did not get any. But I, for the life of me, cannot remember what else I was going to make with dinner. But I do know we're having the chicken, sweet potatoes. I may do like, um, the kids like it when I do, what is it, lo mein, that's the noodles, where I, but I use spaghetti noodles because that's usually what we have on hand, but I do like oyster sauce and garlic and I'm trying to think of what else, a little brown sugar, a little garlic, and I cook it all and make like a sauce and we eat that with noodles and then sometimes veggies in there and meat, sometimes just noodles, but I don't know if I'm going to make that. I may make rice. I have stir fry rice, so I may do that. I don't know. I literally, I'll figure it out later. But I do know I need to thaw out chicken and get that cut up and prepped so that it's a lot easier to get dinner done. Because if I'm getting, if I get it cut earlier in the day and just have it in the fridge already cut up, it's just one step I don't have to do later when I'm in a hurry to get dinner made. But, yeah, um, that's it for today. I mean, no doctor's appointments or anything really other than the orthodontist. And I appreciate that much because that saves me a little bit of time in my day. When we have doctor's appointments, I feel like I don't get anything else done that day because, um, anyways, I'm here at the gym. I'm going to get inside and get busy and get my workout in before our day gets going so I will see you guys in a little bit. I am home from the gym. I'm gonna get inside figure out what I'm making for breakfast get my meat thawed out for tonight's dinner get a little bit of school in and get Mika to the orthodontist. For our breakfast I fried up some bacon made some fried eggs and I opened up two cans of diced mango. I just got what was left after I made all the kids their plates. <music> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint Me schooling. I got some uh, baby back ribs out of the freezer that were already cooked and heated those up for lunch Gonna let the sun shine in the day When we got back home, I did a load of laundry and then I started dinner without ever picking up the camera and filming but I made our tempura batter. It is three cups of self-rising flour, two to three cups of water, and one egg whisked up to almost like a pancake batter or a waffle batter. And then we just dip our potatoes in it and our chicken. So we did a couple of red potatoes, peeled and sliced up, and then we did some sweet potatoes and we did our chicken breast. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Gonna let the past be filled with smoke. The other day when I was in town, I picked up a couple of packets of egg drop soup seasoning mix, and it's pretty simple to make. You just add it to your water, bring it to a boil, and then you whisk up your egg and drop it in there slowly. So that's what we're doing here. I just used my Kasori uh, multi cooker, brought this broth up to a boil, and James is helping me out by pouring the egg in extra slow and just letting it kind of fall into like a ribbon almost in the broth. And I'm just stirring it around as he does it, and then it will be done and ready to serve with our dinner. Here is our finished sweet potatoes and potatoes. This is our chicken 
and then I made up a rice -a fried rice packet just because we had it. I should have added some mixed vegetables, but I didn't think about taking them out in time to do so. And here is our egg drop soup. Dinner was absolutely delicious, and the kids absolutely loved the egg drop soup. So I need to learn how to make that from scratch because I've only ever tried once, and I think I just poured the egg in too quickly. So I'm going to give that a try again soon. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below if you want to chat, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.